2023, IBB, Ibrahim Badamusi Babangida, has continued to speak. Avon rejected Atiku and Tinubu, has called and said the following qualities must be in the next president that will lead Nigeria. If that person does not possess any of this, no Nigeria, no matter the part of the country you are from, must vote for such an individual. He has continued to speak and his words have rather excited some, has offended others. And so Nigerians, the time to act and the time to speak up is now. We must come out of bad leadership. We must come out of those who are oppressing us. We must come out of those who do not want, you know, the good of this nation and do not, you know, and, and are not concerned about what happens to the people. And we must all speak up in one accord. Please don't forget to give us a thumbs up, like us, share, subscribe. Let's get all the details. 2023, IBB reveals the three following qualities that must be heard by the next Nigerian's president. The upcoming 2023 presidential election has become a major national topic in Nigeria. The opinions of several Nigerian elites have dominated the high headlines. Ibrahim Badamusi, the former military head of state, has thrown his weight behind the 2023 election in an interview with Trust TV. His words rather has been offensive to some whom he has disregarded, the likes of Tinubu, and Atiku Abubakar, whom he said are not fit for the position because of their age. This person's followers have replied him in different way, form or kind and have told him he better go and look out for how he can make himself better and useful rather than speaking words that have no meaning. Currently, as we speak, Ibrahim Babangida has said Nigeria's next president must possess certain qualities. And if these qualities are not found in such an individual, nobody must vote for that person if we want Nigeria to move forward. Ibrahim Badamose gave details of someone who deserves to proceed to become Nigerian's president and to succeed President Mohamed Buhari at Asurok. He said Buhari has failed. He's a failure. We are all aware of that. The only thing he succeeded in in this administration is corruption, a clever level of corruption, high level corruption. He said, the three criteria or qualities the next president must possess in order for him to be a good leader of the nation. First, the next president must not be too old. IBB advocate for a younger president, not someone who is advanced in age or as old as himself. Recall that the ex-military leader disclosed this in an interview with Arise TV, that the next president should be in his 60s at most. Secondly, the former leader added that the next president should be very good at communication. Buhari, one of the ways he failed to everyone's face, he could not communicate effectively and communicate hope to the people. IBB stated that he should be able to communicate because the president should be able to talk to any group or set of people about issues concerning Nigeria. Lastly, the incoming president must have close alliance in every part of the country. IBB said he must be, he must have someone who knows him everywhere around the country. It is not a tall order, but it would be nice for him to be known and accepted all around the country. So that is Ibrahim Badamusi's recommendation for Nigeria's next president. In his opinion, if this person is to lead and to be successful at that, some of these qualities cannot be overemphasized. They must be part and parcel of what will make the person, you know, have, have the opportunity and become Nigeria's next president and have, you know, good leadership. You see, so this is his own, this is his own verdict with regards to that matter. He feels strongly that, you know, this person must um, have these qualities, which is not a bad quality, having stated that this is what, you know, the nation needs to move forward. Quite true, very inciting, insightful. However, you guys... IBB is revealing qualities of um, who should be Nigerian's president. But again, it remains, you guys had opportunity and, um, you know, uh, uh, it's, it's clear that, you know, with all that you guys had, what did you do for the nation? 
you guys were the ones who handed over the constitution that um, Olusegun Obasanjo refused to revamp to bring Nigeria to the, pos to the position where we can truly have true governance and true leadership. You guys put in things that will favor a particular region because you hail from that region. How is that supporting Nigeria? And now it is time to pick again. You guys are trying to influence the political terrain here and there. You see, Nigerians, eh, every one of us deserve good leadership and we must take this by force from the hands of those who wants to oppress us, who wants to push us down and who wants to do everything and anything to intimidate us in all that they are doing. Okay, speaking into the political terrain that you do not care for, you do not love and you have no, no iota of responsibility towards you know, the other day he was saying, uh, he thought, okay, he thought that, um, you know, uh, they, were, they were actually bad people, but that they were actually sent compared to Buhari, what Buhari is currently doing today. That the way Buhari's administration and government is stealing from the nation. So you guys know that these things are there. You know the porous areas and where and how things should be covered. But then you really do sincerely do nothing about these areas. You really sincerely do nothing about these things. So the truth of the matter still remains. Every one of us are responsible for the leader we pick. To a large extent, I know that there are infiltrations here and there. People's votes, you know, at times do not count. But once upon a time, we must, you know, take responsibility and vote. Yeah, after we have voted and even though they are trying to do their manipulations and whatever they are doing, we must ask God to help us. Because honestly speaking and truly sincerely speaking, if God does not help us, none of them can help us. I must assure you, none of these people, almost all of them, none of them can help us. Every one of them wants their own thing at one point or the other, want things to be done in their own way, you know, have their own reason why things should be in the way it is. And at the end of the day, you'll be surprised what goes on in the background. OK, and how they relate to things. Some of them know some of those things that are going on, but will not speak. OK, you know that Buhari, you know, has defrauded the nation. You know what he has done, but you will say nothing. You know, we don't have a system of accountability that brings, you know, that brings people to that place where they are able to, you know, be held accountable for the decisions they are making. Everybody's just quiet and watching. Leave us a comment. We'd love to hear from you. Please don't forget to like us share, subscribe. God bless you. Have a good day. Bye for now.